very much. Give it up for the amazing Nathan Clemens and Brandon Watt, everybody! Yes. Nice. Have you decided who's going first? Uh, Brandon gets to live his dream of trying to follow me. Okay. <laughs> so what he does to women on a daily basis, bro. Oh, oh, oh shit, dude. <laughs> this vape shop's getting heated. <laughs> Brandon's going first. Seven joke seats, everybody. One, going first. two, three. Oh, Nathan's going first. Uh, one more time for the panel who didn't understand affirmative action. <laughs> All right, let's fuck this pig. I, I, don't, I can't really explain it, but Brandon looks like how I imagine bad fingering smells. <laughs> of anyone I've ever met, you're the person I would expect to know what bad fingering smells like. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, uh, Nathan, uh, Nathan has, a, has a kid, which is cool, right? Nathan's the first person I've ever met who looks like he became a dad on accident. <laughs> because he, he sold the copper wire in his baby mama's IUD. It's called good at business. Brandon's two hobbies are comedy and golf, two things that you could see him hack it up on, on a weekend in front of three people. Inside baseball, good move, brother, good move. Uh, Nathan owns a comedy club in Janesville. Uh, Fuck you! <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to know who wrote that for you. Brandon's dad likes to watch me fuck his mom, and his mom gives toothy head. Still pretty good, though. Nathan's not used to ladies with teeth. It's a new experience, you know? It takes, takes some getting used to. Nathan is uh, essentially like the human version of the NRA. Popular with rednecks, but on the verge of bankruptcy. I asked Brandon pretty consistently when he's gonna get rid of the pedophile mustache, and all he does is point to an ice cream truck, lick his lips, and go, yum. Fucking ice cream's amazing, dude. <laughs> it's literally my favorite food. Like. Um, uh, Nathan, Nathan has a kid, like I said. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, uh, you know, he's got a kid despite committing the look of stepdad. <laughs> Nathan has the energy of like someone whose favorite childhood memory was breastfeeding. Brandon comments on Pornhub videos that he wants proof they're step-siblings. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude, you haven't told me if that's your brother yet. <laughs> I'm trying to come, damn it! If it's not real, I can't come. You don't, you, you search, I search amateur, well, fuck you guys, okay? No, I don't know why. Going off the rails. Um, <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, Nathan, Nathan is like a creepy looking redneck dude, but he's also super woke. <laughs> that would be like preferring gender neutral bathrooms because you get to smell women's poops. <laughs> Brandon's whole vibe is that's what's wrong with this country. You just said I'm super woke. Brandon's favorite movie is A Bug's Life because Human Centipede turns him on too much. Bug's Life is the name for his mattress. <laughs> Told your mom to wash him. Nah, he, Nathan's a great dad. He is. He has a lot in common with his kid. 
They both get riled up when they watch cartoons and their favorite food is ketchup. <laughs> That's the dumbest one I had, all right? <laughs> Dude, you joke? tried feeding a kid in this economy. <laughs> His final joke. My last comment isn't so much a joke as much as it is a fact about Brandon Wine, okay? And I want you guys to act accordingly by either cheering or booing so fucking loud his last joke doesn't matter. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Brandon was bothering me, begging for spots, and I saw that his phone screen was President Trump after the assassination attempt. Have at it. Boo or cheer him. What are you feeling, liberal Madison? That's it? That's all you could give him? Come on. He wants to make you keep your babies. That was I'm a, a mistake. white guy. What the fuck you want from me? <laughs> I don't get to pick my beliefs. They're given to me. <laughs> you know, Nath is my friend. Like, we, we both look like... We, we both look like we'd shoot up a school, but he looks like he'd do it better. What a compliment. Give it up for these two, everybody. Oh, my God. Great work. Oh, man. Brandon, that was crazy you brought up that he had a comedy club. That was really fucked up. That was so fucked up. You're hilarious. Please book me. So that was amazing. I mean, that guy, the guy sucks really bad. But uh, bad stuff. Uh, Brandon, I've all... By the way, Brandon, I've also screamed into the void, I'm trying to come! Um, <laughs> I've also done that many times. So, uh, Kevin, uh, what did you think of this uh, weird redneck fight up You here? can see me at the Comedy Cabin on December 26th <laughs> in Jamesville. <laughs> Who else have I written checks to? Uh, and I got the plug-in, all right, Nathan? So, based on that, I'm not... I'm still there on the 26th, uh, but that was good. But you tried to get people to do a moral judgment at the end. <laughs> All right, you tried to Fox News and you got MSNBC ratings on that one. All right, I'm sorry. The guy who thinks monster trucks are a little bit too cool is unfortunately the winner. I didn't like when you tried to come at the end of a joke. I don't like, you seem like, Brandon, you seem like someone who hangs out too long at a gas station trying to make friends. <laughs> Dude. And I don't want you to win, but you won because you're white. There oh. you go. There you go. There you go. I'm both Unlike white Nathan, guy. Brandon's white and gets a vote. Um, also, yeah, dude, bring up that, that was gay. But uh, Max, what did you think? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Nathan has a beer bottle in his shirt pocket. This guy's so sick. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. He's not booking you, damn it. Dude, politics aside, having the president as your phone background is so gay, dude. <laughs> I just, every time I look at my phone, I want to feel jazzed, you know? <laughs> Uh, very fun battle. I think Brandon had a few more big pops, so I'm going to give it to Brandon. All right, Brandon wins with another vote. I do want uh, Jake. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't have to vote, but I think uh, it was funny that you threw it up. They threw up the Hail Mary of, like, he's a Trump supporter in Madison. Yep. Like, you're not both wearing backwards hats. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild move on, on your part there. <laughs> okay, Stephanie? Yeah, Nathan, moral judgment, says the guy who pays his comics in comedy cabin t-shirts. <laughs> Once again, hey, no, tax on tips, no tax on tips! <laughs> no tax on tips! The owner of comedy on stage staring at me, and he's doing this right now. Like we mentioned Arrival yeah, Club one more time. Thing. Uh, no, um, but no, you do run a great club. It, it's not an easy thing to do. And I actually am voting for you, sincerely. I, I thought I, you, I, you had some jokes that were my favorite Nathan out of the two. Gets a vote. Nice. Stephanie's leveled up from sucking their dicks to voting for them in roast battles. <laughs> I was going to say, this panel looks like they're competing for a hug with Stephanie. <laughs> J 
Jacob, don't count that one towards the judging. That's after the bell. Say, can, can you guys for real stop calling Stephanie a slut? That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of it, all right? Um, yeah, I feel like I recognize these guys from earlier at the Incels Anonymous meeting, but uh, <laughs> it is cool to put a face to like my meanest YouTube commenters. But um, anyway, it was ironic, the Trump joke, much like the assassin, it kind of misfired. But uh, <laughs> um, I did, uh, no, I did, I loved the Janesville joke uh, that, place sucks. Uh, on the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, I would like to get booked there, so this is a tough decision. Uh, but, uh, wait, what are the votes so far? Well, actually, Jake didn't vote. We have two from them, and then Stephanie has voted for Nathan. Yeah, that's okay, my bad. I thought you um, said he wins. I'll vote right for Nathan, and then that Jake can choose. <laughs> Jake, it comes down to you. All right, guys. I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> If it lands on Max's cock. I got a blue chew in my pocket. What are you doing in 27 minutes? <laughs> Convincing argument. I gotta say, um, just, just because of the structure of it, right? So the last joke being the Trump thing, I did not like that you did that. I gotta go Brandon Wine. Yeah! Brandon wins the battle! Great job to both of you guys. <laughs>